Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about abstraction. So we have already covered the three important concepts about the object-oriented programming, inheritance, encapsulation, and polymorphism. So the last one is abstraction. So what is the abstraction? So abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user. So the theoretical meaning of abstraction is process of hiding the implementation details and just giving the user the functionality. So it displays just the essential thing to the user and hides the internal information. So it is basically used to hide the internal information and just to provide the essential things to the user. So a practical example of abstraction can be considered as a motorbike brakes. So we know what brake does. So it is used to reduce the speed. When we apply the brake, the motorbike will stop, right? So however, the working of the brake is kept hidden from us. So the functionality is hidden from us, but we know the working of brake. So each company will have different way to achieve the implementation of the brake. So that can be considered as an example of abstraction. So how to achieve the abstraction in practical world in programming language? So in Java, there are two ways to achieve the abstraction. First one is using the abstract classes and second one is using interface. So in this video, we will see about the abstract class. So let's understand what is meant by abstract class. So we can create the abstract class by using the abstract keyword before the class name. So we know how to declare a class with the help of a class keyword and then the name of class. So to declare abstract class, we need to use extra keyword, which is abstract to declare an abstract class. So an abstract class can have both abstract methods and non-abstract method. So as the class is an abstract class, so it can have an abstract method as well as non-abstract method. So non-abstract methods are our regular methods that we have been using till now. But the abstract class can also contain the abstract methods. So the method which has only the declaration and not the implementation is called as the abstract method. So what is the difference between a normal method and abstract method? Abstract method only have the declaration and they do not have any implementation. So we just declare a method. That method can be considered as abstract. Also, we need to use the abstract keyword for the abstract method. And the declaration ends with a semicolon. So we will see in the practical demo how to declare abstract class and abstract method. So here we have a abstract class. So here we have used the keyword abstract public abstract class manipulation. So this is the name of class and inside this class we have an abstract method as this method is having a keyword abstract. It can be said as abstract method and here only we have declared the method. We haven't provided any implementation to the method here. This particular statement ends with a semicolon and this is a normal method or we can say non abstract method. So this particular method will have some implementation. So it has the opening curly braces and closing curly braces and here our class ends. So let's see in the practical demo how to make use of this abstract class and abstract method and how we can achieve the abstraction with the help of abstract class. So here inside the Eclipse editor, I have the class test and inside this class test we have one main method. So let's first declare an abstract class here. So we know how to declare abstract class with the help of abstract keyword. So abstract, then you need to say class and then we need to provide the class name. So let's say we provide the name of class as vehicle. And this is our class now. And inside this class, we will have a normal method as well as we can have an abstract method. So let's first declare a normal method here. Let's say method name is public void and let's say company. So this particular method will display the name of company the vehicle is of. So here we will have the implementation of the method. So here we will just print one message. Let's print. We will say here ABC company. Now there is no error in our code right we have one abstract class which is starting with the abstract keyword also we have a normal method 
सो क्लास विच इज एब्सट्रैक्ट कैन नॉट कैन कंटेन ओनली अ नॉर्मल मेथड इफ यू डोंट डिक्लेयर अ नॉन एब्सट्रैक्ट मेथड देन ऑल्सो इट इज कंप्लीटली फाइन इफ आई मेक दिस क्लास एक्सटेंड्स दिस पर्टिकुलर व्हीकल क्लास देन वॉट विल हैपन वेन इन द मेन मेथड आई विल ट्राई टू कॉल दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपनी मेथड विद द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ टेस्ट क्लास आई विल बी एबल टू एक्सेस इट बिकॉज इट इज एक्सटेंडिंग अवर व्हीकल क्लास नाउ दिस इज अ चाइल्ड क्लास एंड दिस इज अवर पेरेंट क्लास लेट्स क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ टेस्ट क्लास सो टेस्ट ओ बी जे इक्वल टू न्यू टेस्ट एंड नाउ यू विल कॉल द मेथड ओ बी जे डॉट कंपनी लेट्स हैव दिस कोड एंड रन नाउ सो सी वी आर गेटिंग ए मैसेज ए बी सी कंपनी so this particular abstract class is having only a normal method now we will declare a abstract method here so how to declare abstract method with the help of abstract keyword so let's declare it public abstract abstract void and now we will declare a method name as wheels okay a vehicle can have different number of wheels right if it if it is a two wheeler then it will have two wheels if it is a four wheeler it will have four wheels so let's declare this particular method here so this is a abstract method any class which is extending this particular vehicle class will need to provide the implementation of this particular wheel class so before showing that let me show you here one difference if a class is abstract then it can have a abstract method or it cannot have a abstract method right but if we declare abstract method then that particular class needs to be abstract if i remove the keyword here then it will show me an error what does the error says the abstract method wheel in type vehicle can only be defined by an abstract class so class should be abstract class to declare a abstract method so remember that here you need to always provide a abstract if your class contain any abstract method let me remove this part here now we will create another class let's create another class here let's say class two wheeler two wheeler and this particular class will extend the vehicle class extends vehicle and inside this class you need to provide the implementation of all the abstract method that are inside the vehicle class so here when i am trying to extend this vehicle two wheeler class i am getting one error what does the error says the type two wheeler must implement the inherited abstract methods so if a class is extending an abstract class as this vehicle is abstract class this particular class need to provide the implementation of all abstract method present inside this class so in our class we have one unimplemented method or one abstract method so for this method you need to provide the implementation here so if you don't provide implementation here then you need to declare this particular class also as abstract so if i declare this class as abstract then the er error will be removed but if you want this class to wheeler to be a normal class and not an abstract class then in that case you need to provide the implementation here so here we need to implement this wheel method so here we will say public then void wheels and now you can provide the implementation here as this particular wheel method is abstract in this class so here we need to provide the implementation remember that you don't need to provide your abstract keyword if you provide your abstract keyword then this particular method will be abstract method again in this class and again you need to make this class also abstract so while implementing the method you need to remove the abstract keyword and here we will provide one sys out statement and here we will set two wheels and inside this class test we will extend here extends two wheeler and now here we will create the object of the test class test obj equals to new test and here we will call this wheels method now so here we will have obj dot company name as well and the wheels method also and now if i try to run this code 
then we will get your message as two wheels so in this way here this particular two wheeler class is providing implementation for this wheels class if i make another class here let's make another class so i will copy this class paste it here and again this let's change the name to four wheeler now four and we are extending the vehicle class so we need to provide implementation for wheels but this time this particular class four wheeler will have the four wheels right so here we will change the implementation so this is the benefit of abstraction right the vehicle should have the wheels so this is our compulsory method in the vehicle class and any class which is extending this vehicle class should provide the implementation to the wheels class and if i change it to four wheeler now and now if i try to access from obj.wheels then we will get the message as four wheels so see we are able to get the message as four wheels so i ho hope you have understood the practical implementation of abstraction so the class which extend the abstract class should provide the implementation for abstract method so if you don't provide the implementation for abstract methods then that particular subclass will also be need to be declared as abstract so what we have learned in this particular video we use the abstract keyword to create abstract classes and methods so as we have seen in the demo the abstract class and abstract methods can be declared with the help of abstract keyword an abstract method doesn't have any implementation so here you can see it doesn't have any implementation it only have the declaration part a class containing abstract method should also be abstract so a class containing abstract method should also be abstract but the reverse is not true means if a class is abstract so it can have a no non abstract method like if i comment out this statement then also it is fine a subclass must override all abstract method of an abstract class so any subclass which is extending an abstract class here you can see this particular two wheeler is extending vehicle class then it should provide the implementation of abstract method so here we have covered the theory of abstraction and also learn about the abstract class in the next video we will cover the interface part so that's it in this video let's see the interface in the next video thank you for watching